join me on my Sunday stroll around Sean Woods Country Park. We'll visit the sensory garden first, which is across the bridge, over the path, and a quick tour past the green man and around the different areas of the garden. It's autumn now. The summer blooms have mostly faded and the leaves are turning yellow. but it's a really peaceful way to start your walk. After our walk around the sensory garden, we'll head out into the woods and we could discover the many trails together. Very busy, very busy in the park today. It's just gone midday and I was planning to come earlier and I just got caught up doing other things. I'm here now and I must walk, not get too distracted by filming. That's quite difficult. Oh, look what's coming up. There is an amazing wooden sculpture of, well, what is it? Is it a dragon? Not really sure. But the tail is in front of me. And I'll just walk up this side, beside its head. Bye, dragon. There's lots of trails here, from easy, medium to longer. I'm trying to do the longer one, but I can't quite remember, <laughs> remember my way around. It's a long time since I've been here. I used to come here regularly with my children. It looks like there's not many people on this longer one. Oh, they're all up ahead, heading towards me. Huge crowd of people. This looks fun, it's like something that someone's built as part of perhaps a forest school. <laughs> it's quite spooky actually in this part of the woods, look. Look how all the trees have fallen over. I head back onto the path now. I'm going to follow the brown arrows. I think that's the longest walk. I think. Now, parts of the park close to the road. That kind of spoils it for me, but um, it's very difficult, isn't it, to get somewhere completely secluded in very built up areas of the country. Now we really are close to the road, you can see the traffic rushing by. I think the Heritage Trail goes all the way around the outside as I head away from the road the car noise will lessen.
I'll just go around this one, eh? And after a few moments heading away from the road, you can hardly hear it. The woods are full of these sweet chestnut trees that have long since been decapitated, for want of a better word, but have regenerated from the roots. So the top of this tree is no longer alive, but further down, another tree has grown from that tree. I don't know what the arrows are for. <laughs> I don't think you have to go in this direction, but perhaps there was a, a trail. I know they run some nature trails for children. And in the October half term, there's lots of activities here at Shawn Country Park. It's just starting to rain slightly. It gets ever so dark when the trees are, are close together. And on this longer walk, it's as you can see, there's no one about, which is lovely to have that little bit of space and freedom. The rain's coming down ever so slightly now. It is October after all, and I absolutely love it, walking in the, the rain. It's different to a, a downpour. And this is just, oh, I see where we are now. The fairy ring. Let me show you each one. This is magnificent. It reminds me of the indigenous Indians of North America and their thunderbirds. And then there's a the salmon. And another particular favorite of mine, it's an armadillo. Is it a mole? I can't remember. Is it a mole or an armadillo? I'll ask my husband. Whatever it is, it's uh, eating a worm. Here we are at the bottom now. The dog walkers have just gone ahead of me. Their dog will race up to the top, no doubt. And this is the hill, Ardiac Hill takes you up to the, the viewpoint. Let's head there now. Just uh, climbed 80 steps. <laughs> a little bit out of breath. I just, I just want to see what this is because this area has been cleared. Oh, okay, it's just a wide open space. Great for the kids to run up and down. Not sure how many steps there are. I've lost count. <laughs> I was on 80. Um, yeah, I'm not going back down to to come back up again and count them. <laughs> Over 100, I would say. I'm approaching the top now. Another one of my favourite sculptures. No explanation necessary. What 
a lovely place to shelter from the rain under the sweet chestnut tree. I'll just catch my breath and then head on back. Yeah, I'm wondering if the heritage route is the longest. I'm wondering what this red route is. I'm going to follow it today. I've probably been on it before. Let's see what it actually says. Ah, uh, that just says red route. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's go this way and see. Perhaps I should have done some research before I set off. Find out which was the longest route, as that was my plan today to walk the longest route. You know, sometimes it's nice not to know what is around the corner. I'm talking about that really is a description of where I'm heading now, and as a metaphor for life in general. Right, we have to go up here now. Oh, wonderful, more steps. Off we go. And they continue upwards. Actually, I'm going to go up the slope instead. Bypass the steps and climb the slope. Rejoin the steps through this little gap. And they're still heading upwards. nearly at the top, probably about 10 steps to go, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here I am, at the top. The green route is pointing me in the left direction. And that's called the Explorer Trail. And the red route is pointing me down here. Which route should I take? Should I pick the Explorer's Trail or the red route? Um, let's go this way. 